Principal Secretary Health and Family Welfare Department from Tamil Nadu, Dr. J. Radha Krishnan. He has been at the forefront of handling major disasters in the state of Tamil Nadu over the years, played a critical role in effective handling of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that wreaked irreparable havoc in Nagapattinam and Kudulur districts of Tamil Nadu. He has successfully tackled many such crisis situations in the subsequent years. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit the state, he was brought to the forefront to manage the crisis even during the second wave when the state was scrambling for hospital beds, oxygen, medication and testing facilities. More of a crisis management man. He has managed crises ranging from tsunami to Kumbakonam school fire tragedy to campaign against female infanticide to the pandemic. Congratulations. Congratulations and he's here with his lovely family as well. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, a very distinguished gathering and it's overwhelming to get uh, this kind of uh, recognition from you all. But uh, no, this moment actually I remember uh, somewhere you know, I had this uh, unfortunate uh, uh, challenge of uh, going to a district and within 15 days uh, many people would remember 94 children died. And on the day of tsunami the then chief minister asked me to go to Nagapatnam where 6065 people died. And in all these people we got the resilience of people people came back. One person came to our house and said that, you know, uh, my mother was alive that time, that uh, uh, so much, you know, the then chief minister wrote a big letter, the then uh, prime minister's office, everybody appreciated the then president and all, but he has never been recognized by government. So my mother told in Tamil to that person, I'll convert it in English later. But uh, that he has got, the government has given him opportunity to serve people in disaster. And Adila Valasi Vaipu Kurtade or Migapere recognition. What she meant was no one should try to seek uh, awards out of death and disaster because so much of destruction has taken place. People have died, many people have lost livelihoods and all. So that he has been given an opportunity by the government to serve them, it itself is a very big recognition. So, I uh, deeply touched that in spite of all that, you know, today you have recognized uh, us and of course, you know, needless to say, the family has always been supportive. But most importantly, you know, this actually in all this, if you look at uh, the biological disaster now, the resilience of people is what motivates us. Whatever it is, we wade through and then show to the world that we can come back and rebound. And that Nothing specifies it more than Akarapete, where within three square kilometers, more than 2,000 people died. But today it is one of the most vibrant fishing villages of Tamil Nadu. I thank all the faceless people behind us. We ourselves came to be faceless, but behind us, grassroots people who work, the person who puts the disinfection, the person who actually used a proclaim to clear the place for 17 days without taking bath, without a change of dress in tsunami. And many people who work in the hospitals, the credit and the award is dedicated to all of them. Thank you once again for this humbling experience. Well, congratulations. In fact, you know, uh, about Nagapattinam, the moment I talked about it, the uh, memories come, come alive. Uh, we were there to study uh, Nagapattinam at that time when all these, uh, you know, disaster management activities were taking place. You know, within two months, the, the life had returned to normalcy. Schools had become operational and the children were there in the school as much as the teachers were there taking care of them. You know, that is something which is what having to maintain the continuity, not only in terms of the education, not only in terms of the resumption of uh, activities, the resumption of livelihood and so on and so forth, that can go unnoticed. So, Disaster on the one side, but managing and managing managing it well is something which never goes unnoticed. So congratulations to you.